How about some Eastern red cedar? I don't like dealing with that red center because it's kind of resinous and it's kind of difficult, but it will ignite. Let's get this branch right here. This one here. All right, here we go. It's a lot harder than I would have liked, but it meets all the other criteria. So it being so hard, we might have to deal with some squeaking and some glazing issues. I can't wait to try this out. It's been a long, long time since I've tried Eastern Red Cedar. All right, now I want to use this base right here. It's the widest part. Let's try to use it for the fireboard. All right. Now, for the spindle. Looks like it's going to have to be this area right here for the spindle. Let's cut off that sharp curve right there. I ought to be able to work with that. That's not too crooked to where I can't straighten it out. So here's the fireboard and the spindle. Let's go for a bow now. go ahead and cut a slot in the end of it and just use one end of my paracord will have a knot in it and we'll just capture that knot and the paracord in this slot let's go ahead and uh Let's go ahead and string it up. Six foot of paracord here. I've already got a loop on this end. So we'll use that for the knot. And we'll come down here. And I like to leave a I like to leave an inch right here, so pull back an inch. Then I'm going to lap back over itself right here and just wrap it back up this paracord this way as tight as you can. And on the last wrap, you want to stick your thumb in there so that you end up with a loop. Stick it through there and cinch it on down. Good paracord will stay cinched up against itself. It will not release. It will not come undone. Good. So now there's our bow. Let's go ahead and make our spindle. What a short spindle that is too. We'll go ahead and straighten out this curve right here and take out that hump. All right, the spindle is in square. Let's go ahead and work on the fireboard now. Ha, 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 ha. 
fireboard, spindle, bearing block. You can see where I got down into that resinous red wood in the center, which is going to be hard. And we have a spindle tip that has the good hard red center on it. And a fireboard. Right, let's continue on in spite of the leaf blower next door. We've got five items in eastern red pine. Baron box, spindle, fireboard, bow, and shavings and fuel wood. Let's see what we can do for a burn-in. Smells good. Tip looks all right. I'm gonna go cut a notch. Let's give it a try. It seems plenty dry enough. That right there was hanging up on my shoe. That should be better. Sound like a weed eater. It's not like he's got a weed eater out there now, doesn't it? Still smoking. Let's give it a chance. Nope, not yet. This might be it. Let's see. That's much smoke coming off my spindle, I can't tell. Not yet. Oh. Lighter touch, slower speed.
It's going out. Yeah, it went out. Is it going to peter out again? It's trying to be ignited. No, nope, it's out. It is out. Wow. Well. I'm gonna get my fat wood bearing block and see if that'll help. All right. This is the fifth try. Look at all that dust I've got made up. Let's see if we can make it happen. Is it gonna stay ignited? Good question. Now, I don't think that's gonna stay there and coalesce for a long time like I... So let's go ahead and just pay attention this ember, get the flames, and then we'll look at our tools and equipment. All right, I'm glad we were able to save it with the fat wood bearing block. Let's go ahead and put our sticks in on there.
right. There's our first bearing block. Oh no. There goes the smoke. That first bearing block did good, but I had to bear down so hard in order to keep everything together. It was too much pressure, too much downward pressure. So then we broke out the fatwood bearing block and I got down inside this existing big, great big divot and it did a beautiful job. I was able to let up on the downward pressure and as you see, a hundred strokes later, we had our ember. That is five attempts in that divot right there. Five attempts. The last time that I used red cedar, I had a lot of struggles with it also. So, we'll not be saving this set. I'm sure glad that we found a way to make it work. All right, y'all, I better get that phone out of the sun. It's going to cut off on me, and I'm going to lose all the video that I had that I've already gotten. All right, y'all, I appreciate you joining me on this one. We'll catch you on the next one.